AutoGPT is taking the world by storm, allowing people to create autonomous agents to do everything from planning parties to building websites. So in this tutorial, get AutoGPT set up locally on your Windows machine so we can have full control of all the settings. There are a few gotchas when getting this running, so be sure to pay attention to all the steps. In the end, we're going to have a fully running and talking autonomous AI at our command. Create an AI assistant input manual to enter manual mode. Okay, speed run, let's go. Okay, the first thing we need is Python. Go to python.org, go to downloads, go to your operating system. In this case, it's Windows. Now we don't want the most recent release. We want 3.10.10. Scroll down here and then you want to pick out the Windows installer, most likely 64 bit based on the machine that you have, but that's the most recommended. And it's going to download here. And we're going to open that up. In this dialog, it's very important to click Add Python EXE to Path so that Windows knows where to find it to execute. Now just click Install Now. Okay, next we're going to need Git. So let's go to git scm.com go over here to download for Windows and go to 64-bit git for Windows setup and it's going to download down here when that opens we're just going to click through all the dialog boxes just go for the default options for everything and install so in order to save things in memory so that ChatGPT can remember what it's been working on we need a long-term memory um, and Pinecone is one of the most suggested. You can also use Redis, but Pinecone is what's coming out as working best at the moment. So you can sign up for a free account, log in here. I've already set one up. So you don't actually have to create an instance by just creating an API key. It will actually spin one up for you. So let's go to create API key, enter new key name. I'm going to call it auto GPT version five, create a key then we can show the key value here and then we'll copy that key into a text file so that we have it for later on. And we also want to save the environment variable as well. So save both of those to a text file. Okay, next up we want to go to platform.openai and here we go to personal, we go to view API keys and we're going to create a new secret key. So auto GPT version seven in my case, create that secret key. Now make sure to copy this and save it to your text file because again, you're gonna need that later. So copy that and save. I'm gonna delete this after, after the fact so it won't be usable. Now the next one we need is 11 labs. So 11 labs allows AutoGPT to speak back to us using a AI text to speech. So you can get started with a free account. You go up here, go to profile, and you'll have, get you be able to get your API key as well. So just copy that as well and save it to your text file. You're gonna need that later on. Okay, so then the most important step is actually getting the uh, auto GPT repository. So let's go to um, GitHub uh, auto GPT. You can type that in your search bar. It should bring up auto GPT. And what we're looking for is the significant gravitas version of auto GPT. And we want to copy this here so you can just hit copy and again save that to your text file okay so we're pretty much set up now we can actually go and start um, installing and getting this going next up we want to create a folder for our project do this in documents or on your desktop don't do it in the root of the c drive because there's some issues with auto gpt writing files there at the moment so we've got documents rob shocks and I want to click up here in the bar and I'm going to copy this location again and save that in my text file. In order to get AutoGPT running, we're going to use PowerShell to control the process. So you need to type PowerShell into your Windows search bar. You'll see this come up. Don't click on it straight away. We want to run as administrator. So click on that and you'll see PowerShell pop up. Okay, now we've got PowerShell open, type in CD and let's paste in the address of the folder. Perfect, let's check what's inside in it with ls and there's nothing there. Now let's check if uh, git is working. So I'll hit git status. Okay, it's telling me that git is not a repository, that's fine, but it means git is working. And let's check Python and type in a version number here. 
perfect. We've got Python 3.10.10. So all is working well. So next we want to pull the Git repository from GitHub down onto our local machine. And we'll do that by typing in Git clone and the address of the repository. So now you can see it's cloning into auto GPT and everything worked fine. So if we type LS again, we can see that auto GPT is now there. Let's type CD auto GPT to go into that folder. You can see now in the Rob shops folder, auto GPT is present. So let's open that. Okay. So we're going to find env template and we can open this with notepad. Let's pick notepad here. Perfect. Okay, great. So don't be intimidated by this file. There's a lot of settings in here. We don't need to worry about all of them. We're just going to add in the key ones that are important for us. So let's step through that. First up, go to open AI API key. And then let's paste in our key. So make sure there's no parenthesis. It just goes in straight away. Okay, let's go down here. Um, then we're going to look at the memory backend. So we want to uncomment this as well. And we're going to be using pinecone. So let's type in pinecone. This will help us store everything. Okay, next we want to go down and we want to uncomment pinecone. And we're going to put in our pinecone API key, which we saved earlier in our text file. And then also we want to uncomment pinecone env. And we're going to put in region from earlier on as well. And last but not least, we want to change, we want to set up um, 11 labs. So let's uncomment 11 labs, put in our key here. Okay, and that should be it. So let's hit save. And you'll see this changes now to an X. Now let's close this file. Now we want to rename this from env.template to env. So let's hit rename and then Make sure this is just dot env and click yes. Make sure it's not saved as a text file. It's still saved as an env file. So in this file here, requirements.txt is all the dependency and packages that are needed to run AutoGPT. So in order to get them installed, we'll type in pip install dash or requirements.txt. And for extra measure, just type in dash dash user. So you have administrator rights on the install but we've opened PowerShell as administrator, so this shouldn't be an issue. So hit return. And you'll see that it's making calls to pull down all the packages that we need. Okay, so we should be ready. Hit dot slash run dot BAT and let's add in speak so we can hear 11 labs give us feedback as we go. Welcome to AutoGPT. Run with help for more information. Create an AI assistant input manual to enter manual mode. So hopefully you're up and running. And if not, here's some troubleshooting issues to check on. Number one, make sure that you hit the add path button when installing Python. This is important for the environment variables. Number two, you might have to switch from the master to the stable branch if you're experiencing issues. To do this, type git branch dash a to see all the branches and then type git checkout and the full name of the stable branch you see listed. Number three, sometimes you'll get errors where OpenAI is apologizing for not connecting. Mostly it only works on the paid account, so you need to make sure you have your credit card attached to make sure that there is credits available. Also set a hard limit on the API so you don't get a surprise in the billing. Number four, Double check your API key and sometimes it helps to create a new one and save again in the .env environment file to make sure it's right. Number five, you may have multiple versions of Python installed that can conflict with each other. So go to uninstall previous versions to be sure. You can do this in the control panel on uninstall programs. Number six, make sure you're an administrator when running PowerShell. This is important for the installation of the various packages and requirements. I'm having a lot of fun with AutoGPT. Let me know if you're having any trouble getting this set up and what kind of videos you'd like to see next on the topic of AI and XOR. The channel is just getting started, so a like and a subscribe really will encourage me to get up early and put these videos together. Thanks for your time.